Hey everyone, I'm Sam. I'm a design engineer here at Envo. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the design updates to the second production run of Vimo. So one of the major updates that we made to the Vimo on this production run was the seat here. Um, so the seat now is a lot more uh, sturdy. It can house somebody who is a little bit taller. So I'm 6'2 and I'm very comfortable here in the Vimo. Um, the seat is currently at the rearmost position and I can pedal comfortably and my hand position is nice and comfortable. And then of course you can still move the seat forward. So if you were a little bit smaller, then you can get right up in here as well and still have a nice comfortable seating position. The next update that we've made is that we've changed the material and the design of the body mounts here. So all of the mounts that are holding this exterior shell onto the roll bars and other various fixtures on the Vimo are now made of a more durable material. And they also have a second layer of foam on them, which is gonna help with some of the vibration and sound dampening um, in order to make the Vimo just feel a little bit more solid and quiet when you're on kind of harsher terrain, um, anything where you're going over kind of bumps and that kind of thing. In addition to the body mounts, we also have these uh, larger diameter washers that have a rubber um, component to them as well, which is just gonna distribute the load of the bolt holding the body mounts to the Vimo. Um, and prevent any sort of cracking um, or that kind of thing. So another update that we've made is we've added some uh, soundproofing to the roof up here. Um, so this is just going to make the cabin a little bit quieter and also just make the ride um, feel a little bit more solid overall. So the cargo liner has also been updated. Um, we're using a rigid carpet liner here um, which is going to be able to handle a little bit more abuse in, in the back with some of the, maybe you're putting some tools in there, groceries, any personal items, um, and just also improves the touch and feel of the finish of the Vimo. One of the other additions that we've made is we've gone from a 38 tooth front chain ring to a 42 tooth front chain ring. So you can see that up here. Um, and basically what that's going to do is just going to make the cadence at higher speeds a little bit more comfortable. Um, so you'll be pedaling at a slightly lower cadence when you're up at those higher speed levels. Along with the front chain ring, we've also added a chain saver to the front idler here. So that's this piece right here. And that's just going to prevent the chain from coming loose or falling off of that idler if you're going over any harsh terrain. Um, we've done the same in the rear with the rear idler or chain rollers here. Um, so this chain saver here is again just going to prevent those chain, uh, the chain line from being able to pop out from the rear idlers. We've also improved the front upper shock mounts. Uh, so just below the shock mount here, um, this is going to be a lot more durable and just make sure that those shocks are really sturdy. The foot panels now come with a mat, which we have um, attached with some adhesive to make sure that this doesn't slide around in case your heels or anything drag uh, on the foot panels. The front shocks are also now taller and stiffer. So the overall ride height of the front of the Vimo is going to be a little bit taller. There you can see just the stiffness increase in the shocks. Um, so this is just going to translate to a better ride feel overall, along with slightly better ground clearance for some of those low clearance situations where you're getting out of a parking lot or there's some small rocks or that kind of thing. We've also added a windshield protective film, uh, which is just going to prevent any scratching, um, especially when you're using this, this windshield wiper here um, and make sure that you can clearly see the road. We've also made several additions to the windshield wiper system. So one is a piece of feedback that we got from some of our taller riders actually, who requested slightly better visibility for the upper section of the windshield. So we've added a wiper extension here, um, which is just gonna lengthen the overall length of that wiper arm. In addition to increasing visibility, we've also added some new wiper grommets here, which are just gonna make sure that the overall assembly feels a little bit more put together um, and protect all the components underneath. The last thing that we've done for the wiper is just made sure that um, 
the motor and uh, gearbox assembly here um, feels a little bit more hidden. We've just painted it black and that way it's not really an eyesore when you're in the vehicle and you just want to concentrate on the road. So we've also added some um, wire routing covering here, um, which is just cleaning up the wire routing and making sure that you don't get any wires in your way when you're pedaling here. All this area is clear. Um, this is very important because uh, the front of the BMO is quite compact and we wanna make sure everything is neat and tidy up here. For the A-arms, we've also added some high density plastic uh, T-bushings. Um, that's just going to make sure that we don't have any sounds or vibrations when we're going over bumps or doing any sort of turning. You can see just moving the Vimo side to side here. Everything feels really solid. And there's no movement in those bushings. Um, we've also added bushings to the rear mounts of the A-arms. Again, just making that really solid. So we've also implemented a system uh, from the factory of making sure that the toe alignment is uh, set up correctly, that you have a neutral toe, and that's going to prevent any excessive tire wear or any um, steering concerns uh, that come with having uh, wheels out of alignment. We've also decreased the size of the pedals just a little bit um, to make sure that there's no contact with the foot panel at any position with the pedal. Um, this is something that could potentially cause problems if you were moving your VMO in reverse and didn't have your feet on the pedals. Um, and so that avoids any of that uh, problem. For the front suspension bolts, we've gone with a much higher grade material. Um, and also added a zinc plated coating in order to ensure a higher level of corrosion resistance. All of the fasteners also have Loctite to ensure that everything is tight and secure. I'll just tilt the Vimo to show some of the improvements that we've made to the underside of the Vimo uh, from suspension bolts that we've upgraded to a higher grade, 12.9 uh, grade bolt. Um, then we've also increased the corrosion resistance using a zinc plated coating. Um, we also have Loctite, making sure that everything stays tight and secure. Um, then we also have brake clip mounting system, which is going to make sure that all of your uh, brake lines are securely fastened and that there's nothing that's going to be caught up on any rocks or anything that you could be riding over. Um, in addition to the brake line clips, we have a UHMW plate, which is going to protect anything sort of like the bash guard underneath the truck um, to make sure that nothing is uh, damaged. We've also added ch uh, chain foam padding to dampen any noise that you might experience when going over harsher terrain. So just in this area underneath here, and then also along the bottom of the frame here, uh, we just have a lot of padding to make sure that no noise is made by any of the chain move movement. We've added uh, battery foam in this section over here to make sure that the battery stays nice and secure when it's installed on the Vimo um, to make sure there's no movement at all in that mounting system. And then lower down where the battery mounts down here, we've added some additional padding to make sure that there's no vibration or um, bumping against the frame of the vehicle during riding. We've added a nylock nut here instead of just a regular nut in order to make sure that that's nice and uh, firm, tightly secured. Then we have a serial number plate added here uh, in order to continuously improve the overall uh, noise, vibration and harshness, harshness reduction. We've added some foam to where the roll bars could potentially contact the rear cargo here and that just makes everything nice and solid in the rear. We've also updated the software for the Vimo. So now we have a, a higher top power that the Vimo can output. In addition to the power increase, we also have it set up now so that your pedal assist level is gonna be remembered by the system. So whether you turn the Vimo off and on again, um, your most recent pedal level assist is going to be um, still there. In addition to that, you also have um, 
vision over the motor and controller temperatures here and here. That's uh, some of the software updates that we've made. The headlight mounts have also been uh, increased in durability or improved in durability. So uh, the material is uh, thicker here um, and the overall construction is, is just more durable. The tie rods have now been updated to have right hand thread on one side and left hand thread on the other side. And this makes aligning the front end of your, your Vimo uh, much quicker and an easier job to do overall. Um, you don't need to undo any bolts in order to adjust the alignment. You'll just need to turn the tie rod and uh, tighten the lock nuts on each side. The last upgrade that we've made is we've updated the 12 volt converter from um, the old one to a much lower power consumption converter. And that's going to let the Vimo stay at a higher battery capacity or at a higher battery, battery state of charge for a much longer period of time um, during standby mode. The rear shock has also been updated to a longer overall eye to eye length, but a uh, smaller uh, or lower stiffness. Um, so, as you can see, when I sit down on the Vimo and bounce, that's just going to allow for a much comfortable, a much more comfortable ride feel. So as you can see, a lot of these changes are really minor details, um, but through our long list of changes, uh, this makes a really big impact to the overall experience of riding and owning the Vimo. Envo. Move different.